gorgeous a little bit of a different video here for you today this is my nighttime routine so welcome to my evening this is going to be rough okay there's no fancy microphone so hopefully the audio is okay and I'm just gonna share with you what my nights typically are like so right now I am finishing up editing and I'm uploading a video right now which is going to be a really late night upload and I know a lot of you have been really accustomed to seeing my late night uploads because <laughs> I have to wait until everybody's asleep. And it's about 11.30 right now at night and usually all the kids are asleep by 9 p.m. So after 9 p.m. I take those last few hours to finish up some of my work and get that done. And this is about the time I call it quits. So we're gonna head back into the house. So we'll shut everything down for the night. Like I said, my studio is out in the garage, so. Never mind our garage. Don't look, don't look. Ah. All right, so we're in the house. I have to be a little quiet. Ace has not been sleeping well, so I used to be able to be really noisy, but that ain't the case anymore. So usually before I go to bed, I'll prepare a drink to help me sleep. This is from the brand Teamy Blends. This is their Restore Supplement. You may remember me talking about their Greens Superfood Blend, this one right here in a video not too long ago. Still loving that. I have a really awesome recipe I wanna share with you if you're looking for a new dessert to try. But anyway, this is great for taking at night. It contains calcium and magnesium, which a lot of us are missing from our everyday diets. But these two help to promote relaxation and helps your stress level to come down too. So what I do is I take a simple measuring cup, fill it up with about eight ounces or so of water, and I just pop it into the microwave for, oof, I'm trying to be quiet, shh. <laughs> I just put it in there for about a minute. And then while I'm waiting on that to warm up, I'm taking a teaspoon and two, teaspoons of the powder, putting those into my mug. Now the reason that you're heating the water up right now is because it helps to dissolve the powder when the water is hot. Now they will tell you to boil it, but I don't like mine boiling. I find that this works really well for me. You just gotta do what works for you. So I'm gonna put my spoon in there, add my water. and then blend. And this has such a light, smooth, citrusy flavor, and you can see it foaming up. It's completely normal. And then once it's fully dissolved in there, I'll just add a little bit more water to it. I love the flavor of this too. It's orange citrus. It's almost like drinking tea, that's what it reminds me of, but it's such a calming, awesome drink to have especially right before bed so if you're interested in it i'll have it linked for you below by the way this video is sponsored by teamy thank you so much for sponsoring this video and i'm also still using the teamy greens superfood blend that i had talked about previously and the way that i've been loving having it lately is this ice cream recipe it's not really ice cream it's a healthier way to have ice cream without all the calories and the bad stuff so i want to show you how to make that real quickly this is something that i love to have for myself after i put the kids to bed obviously i had to film it during the day because it's rather noisy to make in the blender and all that but so good to make this awesome recipe all you need are some frozen bananas cinnamon vanilla extract some of your teamy greens powder and honey then you want to put everything in the blender together and i will have the full recipe below in the description box for you in the event that you want to try this for yourself and then process and so when it's done it looks like that. And then you can add some nuts on top. I love to put hazelnuts on mine, so that's typically what I will put on top. And I'm here to tell you that this is better than ice cream, seriously. If you're on a diet or you just want to stay away from ice cream in general, you will love this. So now that we have our drink, we are going to go get ready for bed, take the paint off, 
turn out the lights. Yes. Now I did have to set up some artificial lighting in my bathroom because <laughs> otherwise you would not be able to see me. So yeah, you can tell it's the end of the day, right? It's like, hello, it's bad wear test today. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you my entire take off the makeup at night routine. The first thing that I do, obviously, is get my hair up out of the way. I haven't really mastered the art of putting my hair up at night when I sleep so that I don't crush my curls. And if you have hair like mine, then you know what I'm talking about. Because, yeah, the problem with curly hair is... If you put it up like that, you're gonna crush it. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll twist it lightly like this and try to clip it like that, taking off the lashes. It's not normally what I do, but I'm tired, so I ain't worried about it. Then I take my makeup erasing towel. I'm going to soak it in some water real quick here. All the paint. I did not like this when I first tried it, but I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> Once I learned how to use it, oh yeah, I really, really like it now. And you can see how quickly everything just comes off. Look at that. I mean, it's crazy good. The next product I'm taking is from Paula's Choice. And by the way, a lot of the products I'm showing you here in my nighttime routine are from Paula's Choice because this brand has made such a difference in my skin. I get complimented on my skin all the time. And I credit it to Paula's Choice. So I'm using the Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It does a great job of taking away the dry skin. And I've also noticed that it's helped my redness over time too. And they do have one specifically for redness that's similar to that. It's not a chemical exfoliant, but it does wonders. And by the way, this part of my routine is something that I will typically do when I get out of the shower as far as putting the skincare and all that on. I take my showers at night because I can't take them during the day. I've got six little eyes watching me. <laughs> and then I'll apply this next product from Paula's Choice. It's the Clinical Retinal Treatment. I usually apply it in the areas where I am wrinkle prone. And for my eye cream, I've been really enjoying this one from Garnier. It's the Skin Active Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. It's a very heavy cream. It's not one that I can use during the day, which is why I apply it at night. For me, I notice a big difference. If I don't apply something onto my eyes, I mean, my eyes will literally start to get dried out. At least my lids will. And I notice a huge difference in how my eyeshadow goes on if I do not moisturize my eyelids and the skin around my eyes on a daily basis. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second here. Okay, and then we're going to move on to moisturizer, which is another Paula's Choice product here. Now sometimes in the evening when I have a little bit more time and I can devote a little bit more time to my skincare routine, I'll put a, uh, what do you call them? One of those Korean face masks on at this point before my moisturizer. I'm not gonna do it tonight because I'm just, I'm so tired, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Don't wanna forget your chest. That's like one of the areas that first show signs of aging besides the back of your hands. It's crazy, isn't it? I always say if I don't look like a complete grease ball when I'm going to bed, then I didn't do it right. <laughs> And then I follow it up sometimes with a sleeping mask. I love this one from Laneige. This is one I've been using for a while. It's the water sleeping mask worth every penny. Last product is from Milani. This is the Rose Butter Lip Mask. I have been la 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 loving it. I feel like our lips get very neglected when it comes to skincare. And so I always try to make it a point to put something on them before I go to bed at night. Now, the tired mom don't really care routine, how that goes. <laughs> that is this and this, <laughs> and that's it. I'm ready to relax, hop in bed, and I'll show you the rest of how I spend my evening. So yeah, what time is it right now? Okay, so right now it's about 12.30, and so the last 
30 minutes to an hour of my evenings are usually spent with God. So I spend some time either in his word, praying, doing devotional studies, etc. And so I'll show you what's on my nightstand right now. Oh, and FYI, because I've made nighttime routines in the past before, and because I didn't show myself brushing my teeth, people assumed I didn't. No, I brush my teeth. I'm just not gonna be on camera going and having toothpaste dribbling down my face, okay? I'm just not gonna do it. I love you, but let's get real here. It ain't cute. And so this is my nightstand, and I got Ace's monitor there. My Eucerin lotion, I put that on my hands usually before I go to bed. Keep a journal here of things I'm learning, things I'm studying. This book from John Hagee is one that I'm reading right now. It's basically a study of Revelation from Daniel to Revelation. Secrets of the Third Heaven. This is written by Perry Stone. I really enjoy his teachings. And then this is a Bible that Perry Stone put together. It's the Bible with his commentary and all throughout. So the New Testament and the Old Testament. And I just love reading what he has to say as I'm studying it myself. And so right now I am in the book of Acts. I just got done reading Revelation again. That is one book that I find myself going back to over and over again periodically. And I always feel like I walk away with something new. I, I feel like I get a new fresh perspective on something. Something new is revealed to me each time. So I'll probably go back and reread it again a month from now and continue like that just because there's so much there that is yet to be understood. But right now I'm enjoying Acts, so I'm going to get into that. And thank you for spending this time with me. Look forward to seeing you again next time.